doubles. When I play double strokes, I always accent the second stroke. Um, I find that especially important when I play double stroke rolls um, because that way they just sound more even at a faster tempo. I'll demonstrate. If I didn't do that at a faster tempo, the double stroke roll would sound like this. And you can hear that 60 note feel and not a really strong 30 second note feel. Especially on the snare drum, it sounds much better when accenting the second stroke. double stroke roll just becomes a lot more even at a faster tempo. And when I play double stroke rolls in grooves, they also just sound a lot cleaner and tighter that way. That way I can also pull out double stroke rolls all over the kit, not just on um, snare drums or cymbals, but all over the toms, especially also on low toms. Because I'm accenting the second stroke. I used to practice a lot of double strokes just around the kit, randomly. I used to try to develop just a bit of power and control over double strokes and a clean execution on all playing surfaces. Another thing I like to do with doubles is split them up over two drums or two instruments, um, like this. I like to split it up over um, cymbals and drums. So double strokes don't have to be played on the same surface all the time and uh, you can orchestrate them in, in many different interesting ways. And it's also important to know and to note that patterns are independent from orchestrations. You can, for example, make a double stroke pattern, which is just right, right, left, left, sound like a paradiddle if you orchestrate it the right way, like this. I'm still playing doubles only orchestrating it in a way that makes it seem like I'm playing paradiddles. I practiced all these patterns with both my hands and my feet equally to develop total control with all four limbs. Here are some more doubles, left hand or left foot warm up exercises. next exercise I'm playing again a group of three split up between my right hand and my left foot but not as 16 note triplets like I did just earlier but as 16 notes. Um, what I'm doing is basically a three over four 
polyrhythm. And I'm going to split this up and slow it down for you. My right hand is playing dotted quarter notes in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. Just to demonstrate now, I'll slow it down and play the hi-hat pattern and just quarter note time on the cross stick on top of that. And here's the pattern. Now here are some more warm-up patterns, uh, especially for the left foot. Um, I like to practice a lot of doubles, uh, or play a lot of doubles on my hi-hat with my left foot while I'm playing grooves. And um, I found out that these are really great uh, strengthening exercises and also coordination exercises. So here's some more left foot double stroke hi-hat patterns. One, two. This next pattern is another example for uh, a pattern that uses or incorporates doubles on the hi-hat, played with my foot. I'm playing eighth notes on the kick drum and sixth note triplet uh, groups, a group of two on my hi-hat. Slowly, the pattern sounds like this. On top of the foot pattern, I'm playing a Mozambique-type African rhythm. Slowly. And now a little faster. I also like to split up doubles between my hands and my feet while I'm playing grooves. Uh, this is also a great coordination exercise and a good workout for your left foot again. Um, there's a simple pattern that I'm using sometimes. It's just left left in the hand and left left with my left foot. And I'm using that as an ostinato. So I'm just playing. And on top of that, I just play some grooves. This pattern is very similar, only this time I'm playing inverted doubles between my left hand and my left foot. And I'm splitting the doubles in my hand over three different symbols. So the left hand, left foot pattern sounds like this. And on top of this, 
I'm playing a little groove. So here I played double stroke rolls on the bass drum and just like with my hands I accent the second stroke. Um, I can show you this slowly and I played in unison with my hands so you can see this better. So I'm accenting the second stroke, that way the roll becomes a lot more even and tighter at a faster tempo. In this last pattern, I used basically the same kick drum pattern, double stroke rolls um, in 60 note triplet phrasing, but I changed the hand pattern on top of that. Instead of the dotted 16 note uh, right hand pattern, I now played a triplet feel right hand pattern. But the bass drum pattern stays the same.
To be able to use doubles in a musical way, I started to also incorporate accents and dynamics into these patterns, because without them, drumming is boring and flat. Here are some ideas to develop control and command over accented double stroke roll kick drum patterns. In the previous few and in the next following patterns, I'm playing accented double stroke rolls on the bass drum. And I'm playing various accented patterns, um, ranging from five strokes to seven strokes, six strokes, and three strokes. So slow down the six stroke pattern I just played would sound like this. I'll play with my hands first. And I'm doing this same pattern, which is in a three actually, and I'm playing that over a four-four halftime groove. So the bass drum pattern has a different cycle and of repetition than the hand pattern I'm playing on top of it. I'll start with the bass drum pattern, and I'll play it in three, so you get a feel for the pattern, and then I change the hand pattern on top of it. In the following two song examples, I'm using lots of double kick doubles in a more musical context. In the first example, I'm playing the guitar solo in unison with my feet while holding down a strong backbeat, ending the solo with a unison double stroke roll.
here I'm playing a busy machine-like groove in a dark and mysterious section of the song Balkan. Thank you. 